Hello everyone. This is part two of the series of building a producer and consumer scenario with RabbitMQ. If you have not watched part one, I definitely recommend that you watch part one before watching this video. The link for the tutorial will be posted in the YouTube channel as well. In part one, we talked about the RabbitMQ message broker and the various exchange types. In this session, we will install RabbitMQ and access the admin management web page and go through a simple header exchange type. I couldn't install RabbitMQ successfully on my company Windows 10 laptop, and I think it's because of my company firewall settings. Uh, so I installed RabbitMQ on my MacBook, and we will be connecting to my MacBook from my Windows 10 laptop. Uh, the installation itself is pretty straightforward. I will post the link for the installation here on the YouTube channel. Uh, there are only two commands that you need to run on your MacBook. Uh, you would run brew update to update the brew, and then you would run brew install RabbitMQ. Uh, so this, ins this uh, command would install RabbitMQ and its dependencies. And I believe it also installs all the plugins as well. So I didn't have to install any of the plugins. Uh, this took care of installing all the plugins as well. Once the installation is complete, you would uh, open a browser and go to localhost colon 15672, which is the port. And you would log in as uh, guest and guest. And I completed that in, on my MacBook. And once you log in, you can go to the admin page and create a new user. So I created a new user called Milton with administrator of access. And on my Windows 10 machine, I have logged in. I've uh, connected to my MacBook machine. This is the IP address of my MacBook where RabbitMQ is installed. And I go to 15672, which is the port, and I'm logged in as Milton. Okay, so what we'll do now is let's go ahead and create a queue. And uh, we will go ahead and create a queue, and we will call this as my queue. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create an exchange. So let's go to the exchange here, and let's go ahead and create a new exchange as well. And we will call this my exchange. Now we want the exchange type to be headers. So let me quickly refresh what we are planning to do. So we have the queue. Uh, we have the exchange that we just created. Now we are going to create a binding between the exchange and the queue. And then we are going to have the properties department equals sales and region equals North America. And then we are going to create a message with the headers department equals sales and regions equals EMEA. Now by default, all of the headers need to match for the message to be sent to the queue. And in this case, only department equals sales matches, the region does not match, so the message will be lost. So it, the message will not be delivered to the queue. Then what we would do is we would take the same message, the queue, we would create a new binding, and this time we would have the same properties as well, department equals sales, region equals North America, but we will add this property x-match as any. So we know by default this is all, so we will put the value any, so it can have two values, any or all, so we will use any, and then the message, we will have the same headers, department equals sales, region equals EMEA. And because uh, department equals sales matches the header, and because we have x dash match equals any, this message will be sent to the queue. Yes, so this is what we are planning to do. So let's try that. So we've created the exchange. It's going to be a header type. Let's go ahead and add the exchange. And then what we could do is we could go into this exchange. And let's go ahead and create this binding. 
So right now there is no binding from this exchange to the queue. So I'm going to create this new binding to my queue that I had already created. And we will add these two properties, department equals sales and region equals North America. So we are, we have done this part of it. And let's go ahead and publish a message. And this message will have department equals sales and region equals EMEA. And this message will not reach the queue. OK, let's see what happens when we publish this message. And sure enough, the message was published, but it was not routed. And it was not routed because all of the headers do not match. The region especially does not match. The value is EMEA here and the value is North America here. So what we will do, we didn't even create the binding. Okay, so let's do it again. So let's publish this message one more time. So I didn't click the message to create the binding. So let's uh, publish this. So the message is published, but not routed. Okay, so uh, well, we didn't add the route. Let's go ahead and add the Okay, so this time message published but not routed. Okay, so this is what we were expecting because the binding is North America, binding is EMEA here. Uh, I mean, the region is uh, North America, the region is EMEA here. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll unbind it. We'll create a new binding this time. We will call it my queue again. We and we will have department equals sales, region equals North America. And we will have the X match as any. We will create this binding. And here again, we will have the headers where department is sales and region equals EMEA. Now, last time the message was not sent to the queue, but this time the message will be sent to the queue, will be sent. And that's because even though the header doesn't match, even though the region doesn't match, we have this X dash match as any. So I published the message and the message was published. So if I go into my queue, and if I go into my, my queue, I would see that there would be one message. So if I go into get messages, I see there is a message, one message. And if I do get message, then I see the payload, which is message will be sent to the queue. OK, so that works. And so we will jump into the, the exercise itself. Now, for doing this exercise, building the cons producer consumer scenario, uh, first we want to create a RabbitMQ service. Uh, now, before we start all this, uh, we need to create a an account in Cloud Foundry. So you would go into account.hanatrial.com. And I will post the link in the web page as well. And here you would register. And here you would go ahead and put in your uh, first name, last name. I've already done that. And I can register, I can log in with that username, password. Now we want to do the Cloud Foundry trial. 
So click on the Cloud Foundry trial. And we are going to do all our exercises in this Cloud Foundry trial. And one thing to work with Cloud Foundry that I find very helpful is installing the Cloud Foundry command line tools. So if you go into this link here, you can install the Cloud Foundry command line interface for either your Mac OS or for your Windows. Uh, so I have my Windows, so I have my Cloud Foundry command line already installed. Now there are a couple of commands that you need to run to finish the first exercise. So I have the commands here. So the first thing you would want to run after you install the command line interface is CF API and then that is the API link. So I will go ahead and run it. So that is setting the API endpoint. And then you want to log in. CF login is the next command. And I will log in with the user that I just created. OK, so I've logged in. And then right now, there are no services. So let's make sure that there are no services because it's a brand new account. So there are no services found. And what we want to do is we want to create a RabbitMQ service. And the command is fairly straightforward. And the name is going to be PubSub Messaging Service. So we copy that. And we go ahead and run it. And this goes and, goes and creates this Pub Messaging Service. And now if we run CF services, we should see that there is a service that has been created. Yes, we do have the name pub sub messaging service RabbitMQ service that has been created. Well, we don't want to delete it. So that will be the end of the session today. So at this moment, we have created the RabbitMQ service. In the next session, we'll go ahead and create a producer. Okay, thank you. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thanks. Bye.